Hey, hey, we're gonna take a look at the digital image stabilization on the Canon EOS R to see if it's good enough for vlogging. Let's take a look at it. Oof. All right, the lens that we're gonna use for the test, well, we have to use it because it's the only lens that I brought, and that's the 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8 Mark III. We're gonna use the test at 16 millimeter. <laughs> Now there's two types of digital image stabilization on the EOS R. You just have the standard or the original image stabilization and then you also have the enhanced digital image stabilization. I'm gonna say image stabilization a lot in this video, I'm sorry. But you have the enhanced version too. Both of them do apply a crop. Now the enhanced image stabilization is going to be more than just the standard image stabilization. Take a drink every time I say image stabilization. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look at the digital image stabilization on the Canon EOS R. All right, can you see me in there? All right, for our test, we're gonna do 1080p, which will utilize the full frame, and we are going to do 4K, which in 4K, the EOS R has a 1.8 crop. And once you use the image stabilization, on top of the 4K crop, it's gonna be a fairly significant crop. To begin with, we're gonna start off in 1080p, and then when we're done with that, we're going to test in 4K. So we're gonna see how that really impacts that. And since this is kind of towards vloggers, I will take the camera off the tripod and actually walk around with the camera handheld around here in our little, our little setup here. All right, so let's get the camera off the tripod and let's start in 1080p with image stabilization off. Again, we are using the 16 to 35 EF lens that doesn't have image stabilization. So this will be great to test this out with. All right, let's get this off the tripod. Let's go. Now there's a couple questions that we need to ask. One is, can you vlog with the Canon EOS R with the image stabilization? If you're okay with 1080p, no, just turn up the sharpness a little bit in camera or in post, I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay with using the digital image stabilization. Now, if you wanna use 4K, that's gonna have to be a no. I think with the 1.8 crop and the crop on top of the image stabilization, it's too much for vlogging. I think even if you're using the Metabones EF to RF adapter, which reduces the crop from 1.8 to 1.2, I still think that's too much. Now the second question is, should I just wait for the R5 to come out? Since it has image stabilization built in and will utilize the RF lenses that have image stabilization too. If you can afford it, I would probably just wait for that camera. It's gonna probably be a $3,500 camera. And if you're going to use RF lenses, those lenses aren't cheap. The RF equivalent of this lens, the 16 to 35 is like $2,200. It does have image stabilization on that lens, but if you can afford it, just wait for that camera. Otherwise, the EOS R is a good option. There's a reason why a lot of top vloggers use the EOS R to vlog with. Now, granted, they are using the RF lenses that have image stabilization on them. Otherwise, $1,700 price for the EOS R is fine if you're okay vlogging in 1080p. Digital image stabilization in 1080p will work. 4K, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna work that well for you. There you have it, digital image stabilization on the Canon EOS R. I hope the test was good enough, but yeah, there it is. Quick little test while I finish up my time lapse over there. But yeah, if there's one thing I found out, I need to start working out again. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe. I'll see ya.